Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today I'm actually going to start working on our build challenge that I made a video about a few days ago. Now, it is to build the Tease Transporter Bridge in Stormworks. I'm actually going to participate in this challenge because I think it's kind of cool. Uh, and today, essentially what I want to work on is the, um, the track at the top and the cart that runs all across it. I don't know how to explain what that is. But essentially, it's the cart where the wires dangle down from. If you guys don't know what the transporter bridge is, I'll go ahead and uh, link to the video down below. And also put a picture up now. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and start building and see what we can come up with, shall we? Okay, so it's kind of interesting how this is going to work. Um, I don't know how wide we need this to be. Uh, but essentially, I need it to be as wide as the bridge is at the top, which is also going to be as wide as the gondola is at the bottom. Uh, the thing that the cars drive onto. So, I need to figure out how big cars in Stormworks are, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this, but uh, we're going to be using a 1970s Dodge Challenger as our vehicle of choice, uh, in order to know how wide a vehicle in Stormworks actually is. So, on the gondola, I want to be able to fit at least three of these in a line going backwards, and I guess we'll actually have three lanes, which seems a little bit insane, but that is what we're going to do. And then on the side of that, we're going to have a pedestrian area where we need to fit, I don't know, at least like um, a bunch of seats. So let's go ahead and see how long this is, see how wide this is, and that's how big the gondola is going to be. Okie dokie, how wide are you please, and how long are you? So from there all the way backwards to here, it is only 20 blocks long, interesting. And then the width of this thing is only 8. Okay, so 8 blocks wide, 20 blocks long. Okay, so now that we've sort of worked that out then, let's go ahead and figure this out. So, it is 8 wide, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go 8 out this way. In fact, do it on both sides, here we go, so... Uh, no, wait, 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 the middle one is gonna be a little bit shallower. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so that one's gonna be 9. We're then gonna go ahead and put a block right here, because that's gonna be the dividing line. We're then gonna have 8 right here. And then we're going to have another block right here, which is, again, the dividing line. We're then going to go ahead and do one, two, three. And that's going to be the passenger bit on the side. Okay, that's fine. So, however wide this is, is how wide we're going to have it be, which is 37. That's crazy. All right, so now we need to figure out how long we actually need it to be. And that is 20 times... Uh, 20 times 3, so it needs to be like 60 long, which is, uh, not gonna be too terrible, it's gonna be about this big. Uh, and that does seem a little bit excessive and actually quite large, but that's okay. So, what we're gonna do is go all the way up to the edge right here. There we go. We're then gonna go down here to there. Oh, no, hold on. And there we go. Okay, good. And I'm gonna delete all of this right here. So, delete that guy right there. Delete all of this right here. And, wait, is that how big it is? No, 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 hang on. Bring this all the way down to there. There we go, somewhat like this. And then delete all of this. Okay, so delete all of these guys. Delete all of this all the way to there. And that's how big it needs to be. This is crazy. Okay, so this is actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting to be building this thing, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves some wheels. This is the first thing that we're going to do in order to make this work. And the wheels are going to be the things that push this along. Um, whether it is gonna work or not, I'm not so sure, but we'll see. So there's one, two, there we go. There's, uh, three and four, there we go. Okay, five. Okay, do another one. Six and seven, there we go. Okay, so that is quite a lot of wheels. I'm not gonna lie, that is, um, excessive. <laughs> a little bit excessive, but that's okay. We're well, gonna bring this backwards to here, and that is gonna be fine. Essentially what this means is that the track that we run on is going to have to accompany these guys right here. But that's okay, because I think we can sort that out. Okay, so, in order to actually attach this to a track, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a gripper. Here we go. Uh, and we're just going to go and attach this to the bottom of here, like so. Now, that not, might not be as, as far down as we need it, so go ahead and do this. And then attach it again. Here we go. And hopefully, that'll allow the wheels to drive while we, uh, while we stay gripped to the track. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of these on, and then we'll see what it does. Okay, so if I was thinking about this the way the actual bridge is built, um, what I would do is I'd actually attach winches to this uh, to essentially allow it to get pulled and pushed along the bridge, uh, because that's kind of how it works in real life. 
However, what I think we're going to do instead is add a motor to maybe two of these wheels on each side. Um, and then have that motor turn one way when we want to go across. And then turn it the other way when we want to stop. And go the other way, if that makes sense. So, that's okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is create a little bit of a track for this to run on. And then we'll see if it works. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to do this, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and attach these guys together like this. We're then going to go to the other side and attach them together on this side as well. And now we have the tracks that it is actually going to run on, which is um, kind of cool. So essentially the way that we need to build this in the actual world then is we need to actually take this track and be able to attach it together mid-air, which seems a little bit strange. Um, and then essentially that could be in multiple pieces if we have this bit be powered. Uh, by itself, so that's okay um, But it does mean that we can't actually pull it along via ropes because we can't do that in multiple pieces uh, Unless we go up there and attach it every time, but I don't want to do that. So there you go Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go and delete this guy right here And I'm gonna go to this end and delete this guy right here as well gonna get ourselves a gearbox uh, No, not a gearbox a little motor. We don't need anything fancy or big Go ahead and attach that to there, go to this one right here and attach that. We're then going to go ahead and get some batteries and essentially put them on each of these. So a little battery is going to go on each of these because it can. So here we go. Battery, go ahead and shove it on there like so. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, and there we go. We're then going to do this to try and make it look normal. There we go. Uh, and that is going to be our battery power that we need. Um, I don't think it's going to drain that much, so it should be okay. And there it is. Okay, so are the wheels actually touching the ground is the first question. I believe they are. Let's go ahead and get onto our seat and see if this thing actually moves. Yes, it goes forwards and as soon as we get to the end it will stop. I hope. I think so. Here we go. And then if we want to go the other way, we can actually drive it backwards and it will also stop at the other end. Okay, hopefully. Here we go. Get it all the way to the other edge and stop. There we go. Lovely. This works. Alright, so there it is right there. Essentially now what I need to do is come up with a way of making this track be able to attach to this track again and again uh, without it being a, like too too crazy. So what I'm going to do is actually add magnets underneath uh, that will actually attach to other magnets, which will also be underneath, uh, to attach this together as it goes along. Now, the other thing that we need around this is of course the frame, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it, but it's going to be a challenge. However, that is not what we're going to work on today because we still need to actually add the winches, etc, etc to this thing. So let's go ahead and do that next. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm going to go ahead and attach the winch directly onto here like so. There we go. So there's two. We're then going to go ahead and have this guy directly here as well. Okay, so that's a few more. Um, I would love the idea of actually deleting these and pushing them back in, uh, but we're not going to do that. So there's... Four, we're gonna go ahead and have a few more. So there's those ones right there, and we go with those ones right there. So now we've got eight winches that will attach onto, I was gonna say the enemy, it's not the enemy, uh, onto the gondola down below, uh, and that should be good. That will be able to suspend it, which is cool. Okay, next thing, rocket boosters. Yes, this is insane, but let's go ahead and do that across there like so. We're then gonna go ahead and do these angled pieces that will send it across to the center, and uh, that should be pretty good. So let's do that to there. Okie dokie, attach these guys together. And essentially we're just going to go ahead and do this bit backwards this way. And we're going to continue doing this all the way around. Okie dokie then, let's have a little look at this and see what it looks like. Does it look okay? Yes it does. It has all of these guys across the center which makes it a little bit stronger. And honestly I think this actually is going to work out for us quite nicely. So um, yeah, we can still move it forwards and backwards. And that is essentially all it needs to do. Nice. Okay, so I guess what we could actually do with this uh, that sort of makes sense is have it upside down. So uh, essentially what we need to do is have these guys flipped over. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Go ahead and cut this and do this essentially. There we go. So they point upwards. Take it to the other side and essentially do the same thing. So cut this and flip it over. There we go. Paste it back on. Cool. Merge this guy with this guy, good, this guy with this guy, and then essentially all of it would be flipped over uh, and it would work that way around. So that this is actually dangling below the bridge, which um, is a bit odd, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it is a little bit strange. Uh, but I think that's how we sort of want it to work. So let's go ahead and cut this, 
Flip it over. There we go. Have this bit suspended in the sky. Uh, essentially just like this. And then the gondola bit will actually work. So let's go ahead and grab this blue and uh, give it some legs. There we go. So there's some legs right there. Go to the other edge and do the same thing. Some little legs. There we go. And then essentially we can actually put this track or this guy up there and then it'll work. Maybe. So put this guy right up here. There we go. Uh, and then you'll have the ability to actually walk along the top of the bridge in the center above this, which is weird. But yes, that's what we want. Okay, weird, but there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get up on top of here. There we go, good. Go ahead and get into position and drive it forwards and backwards. Aha! So, because we don't have gravity on our side this time, we aren't actually able to do this. Hmm. I mean, luckily, there is something we can do. We can actually resize the tires to be a little bit bigger, and uh, we'll probably get away with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on all of these, and I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okie dokie, let's see if this works. And no, it doesn't. Okay, we need them to be even bigger than that. I mean, the easiest way to check how big we actually need it to be is literally by going to one of these, and one of them should actually pull us along. So we'll go to 1.75. We'll jump back up there and we'll see what happens. Here we go. So, in the seat, go. If we move, it is working. If we don't move, it is not working. It's not working. Yikes. Okay, so uh, what I've done is uh, I've modified this a little bit. Uh, and essentially what I'm doing is the drive wheels are all going to be on their own little slider. And then as soon as we want to actually move, which is instantly, uh, all of these sliders will actually move upwards just a tiny bit and... That will actually allow the traction to uh, to work. Uh, making the tires bigger doesn't actually appear to do anything, which is um, something I've never tested before, and something I probably should have tested before because I've definitely made tires bigger uh, before. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what happens now, shall we? Let's go ahead and get in our little seat, and uh, you'll see that it won't actually move until I press this button. How is that not engaging this? How is that? Like, look at how how big that wheel is. It's going straight through. That's not engaging it. Okay, well, I mean, I might have to add another piece. Uh, if I have to add another piece, it'll get even uglier. But there you go. That could go right there. And this could go right here. And, I mean, it doesn't look that ugly. But once the, uh, the tire is going fully through the bridge, I think it will then look very, very ugly. But anyway, let's go and do this. Is anyone else confused? Why wouldn't that work? Why why would that not work? Okay, so this is our current situation. Um, as you guys can see, the wheel is spinning. The wheel is also through the blocks, as you guys can see. And we are moving forwards ever so slightly. Like, really, really slowly. Because if you look at these little dots right here, you can see they are getting further and further back, I guess? Oh, if you look down there, you'll actually eventually be able to see some red. Um, I think we're moving. I, I mean, I could actually be just, like, imagining it too, so that's a thing. I don't know why this isn't working um, when it should be. That's really, really weird. That's really weird. Okay, so just because I want to try this out and see what actually happens here, let's go ahead and see if it will run on this right here below. And uh, it turns out, no, it actually won't. I don't know whether it's to do with the grippers not allowing us to actually fall down or, or not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, that's weird. We can't actually drive on the bit underneath either. So I'm a bit stumped. I'm a little bit stumped on what to do here. I would have loved for it to have worked this way, where we just raise the wheels a tiny bit and it rolls. And then it pushes it all along. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know why. Okay, weird, but uh, I, I think we're going to have to flip it over anyway. So let's just go ahead and uh, paint these guys real quick, just around the edges like so, and essentially take it back to where we had it in the beginning, uh, where it was rolling around on the top, which I, I don't really want, but uh, I don't know. If we're not able to actually do anything with the wheels once we've done that, I don't know what else we can actually attempt to try. Like, there's not much else we can do. So let's just go ahead and flip it back over and see what we can do there. And uh, I guess I'm going to ask you guys in the comments down below if you have any experience with this. Because I don't, really. I, I really don't have any experience with this. So if you do, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know how I'm supposed to make these guys move 
uh, the way we currently have it, which is upside down. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to go ahead and flip it all over. There we go. I haven't actually managed to bring the wheels, so let's not do that, actually. <laughs> let's go ahead and bring this back up to the top. One second. There we go. Good. Uh, and we're going to grab these guys as well, obviously. So that up to there and out to the side over here, of course. There we go. That is everything we need. Let's go ahead and cut it again. There we go. Flip it over. Bring it up to the top. There we go. Paste in right there. Delete these guys on the edge. Delete that guy right there. Fit this guy straight up to there. Good. Do the same on the other side. And then we've got it good. We've got it good. Nice. Delete all of that. There we go. Merge this guy with this guy. And that is fantastic. Currently, this is upside down, but doesn't really matter. Because uh, it should still work, I think. Yeah, so straight away, this actually works upside down. I don't really get it. I don't know why. Um, oh, well, I guess I do. It just fell through the floor. The creation just fell through the floor. I understand why it works in the terms of, like, gravity, but I don't understand how it works in terms of... We've added it to there, right? And we, we've put the pressure on it. So once there's pressure on something, it should start moving. It just doesn't, though, when it's upside down. Really weird. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for right now. We've built the little track at the top. So now all we need to do is build the rest of the bridge and the gondola and everything else. But for now, we've made a start. So let me know in the comments down below if you know how to fix this in terms of having it the other way around. If we can't do that, we'll just leave it this way around and we'll work around it. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from this series. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.